Hey, salad food. I like this jacket. Oh, thanks. Yeah. We are in the Roadshow Kitchen oh. this morning. Oh, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Nick was complimenting me on the jacket. Yes. I, was taking the, I was taking that in. Yes. Uh, Nick Raybar's here. Avenue and chicken and broccoli is uh, is on the menu today. Yes, oh, are little arancini. Arancini. Yes, Ooh, that yes. Sounds little nice. fried risotto ball. Sounds good. Say. Yes. So, so uh, I love this dish. Yes. I love this dish. And and uh, I love arancini in general because it's very versatile. Got it. You could do absolutely anything you want with it. You could just serve it like just rice and cheese, and then you bread it up and deep uh, deep fat fry it. Got it. You can add anything you want to it. So, I was we were at the restaurant on Sunday. We sure were. There was a big contingent yes. at the restaurant. Yes. And they were the the hooligans as we yeah. As there we was say. like a, a fried like things that we yes. had too. Yes. Those were pastrami. Okay. Those were awesome. Pastrami oh, and potato. So yeah, good. With the pickled cabbage oh and the spicy God. aioli. We have the best culinary so team there, don't we? Right. And uh, and you know I popped in for a little visit. Yes, you did. And we had we had quite a quite a few laughs. Well, it was a lot did of fun. Did we not? We had with a lot that of company. How can you not? All right. So let's. What do we need to put this Recipe. Okay. So we have risotto, cooked risotto, okay. cold risotto. You with me? Yeah, I'm with you. All these ingredients are going to be cold. I have chicken that has been uh, poached in salted water and shredded. Got it. Very small pieces. Broccoli. All right, okay. broccoli, which has been shredded. I have a couple types of cheese, Parmesan and provolone. Right. I'm going to mix all of that together. Okay. All of that together. Now, I like that it's cold, and I like that the cheese is cold, because then we're going to bread it. It's going to be flour, egg, panko. Season all of your bays. Ooh. You know what I mean? Season your, season your egg, season your flour, season your panko. Okay. Roll them up. Yep. Golf ball size risotto balls. Right. Okay. And then you're going to deep fat fry them. Okay. 350 degrees. How long do right. you deep fat fry them? I'm going to guess about four minutes. He's guessing. So they look like, I'm guessing. It's a, I'm just throwing a dart at the board <laughs> like, and seeing if it hits. I think it's going to hit, though. Try. Okay. I think it's going to hit. Okay. Yeah. So this is going to this is going to be delicious. We'll put this together and then next look. He's, he's very busy. Yeah, he's, a busy restaurant, he's a restaurant mogul. I'm a mogul. Restaurants are popping up every place. <laughs> um, we'll do that. We'll talk to him about the restaurants <laughs> and what's on the menu. Back to you. We are back in the kitchen with Nick Raybar from yes. Avenue N. We are making chicken and broccoli. Now, there's another. So it's Arancini. chicken and Arancini. Arancini. Yes, Arancini. Arancini. They, Arancini. Are, they are these right here. They are these. They are these. These, these are, are so like. so good, Nick. They are so good. And they are, um, you know, outside of the fear factor of deep fat frying at home, <laughs> they are very easy to make. Okay. And deep fat frying at home is very simple. How do you deep diet? Deep Deep fry. dye. Deep dye deep, fry. Deep dye fry at home. How do you do this? Here's how you do it. Safely. That's the yes. first cue. Okay. okay. So you, if you have an oil thermometer, more power to you. Okay. I don't have one of those. I don't know if we do. I, we don't, don't worry about that. Okay. Just don't fill it too high. Okay. Okay. So I always recommend an oversized pot. Okay. Okay. So that you leave more room than you need. Now, me, having done this many times, understand the oil level. So this looked even higher than what I would recommend doing at home. Okay. So you don't want to go too, too high because you don't want to risk a uh, boil over. It can be dangerous, but it can also just be messy more so. Right. All Nine of, times all out of 10, stove. it's more just yeah. messy. So um, 350 degrees. What I did was I took cold risotto, arborio rice, basic risotto, a right. little onion sauteed with some stock, Okay. Um, and then I let it get cold. And the starch from the risotto is really what binds this together. I was going to say, what's holding is that? Yes, okay. it is that. So then I took some broccoli, lightly poached, and that I just uh, kind of minced up. So really small cut, because if yeah. anything in here is too large, it's not going to bind together. I you, see. You know, okay. you, that won't work. So you really need to make sure you're doing that. Yes, gotcha. especially with this method, which is just sort of all mixing it together. There's others where you can like wrap the rice around. Right. But this is just throw it all together and then bread Pop it. it. So um, a little pulled chicken, provolone, and Parmesan cheese. Okay. So I think we've got enough in there that we can just let these go because we don't want to overload. I was overload. just going to ask you that. How many would you even put in this? Well, like, all again, depends, it all on depends size, on the right? space you have. Okay. You know, so here I've probably got a dozen in there or so, and we're just going to let them go three, four minutes. But what I did was once the rice was all done, again, cold is the key. Hot, it might fall apart on you. Okay. Cold, so cold. Uh, we're going to roll it. So I did flour, okay. egg, and then a little bit of panko breadcrumb. Okay. Really, really simple. And once that's done, you sort of get this. You put them into these here. like almost like these little balls. You the just little roll balls. them in. Yep, approximately same size. Ice cream scoops work well if you want something. Oh, that's like a good hack. A little bit, a very yes. good hack. Just a little something for a little bit more consistency and size. And then they're going to start to turn golden brown. Some will be done first because we put them in first, and we're going to just pull them out in order. And now, do you just kind of eyeball it until you know that you feel like they're uh, done? I, I, yeah, because nothing's raw in here. So the oh, worst case scenario okay. is it might be a little cold in the center, but you. You really want to, uh, you know, use a little bit of like culinary common sense, yep. which means like 
if the outside, if the oil is too hot, mm -hmm. it's going to get dark on the outside before the inside is hot. Okay. Do I you see. know what I yep, mean? Yep. So if if your oil is 400 degrees, like way too hot, then it's just going to brown on the outside and be cold on the inside. Okay. You don't That's that. why we're yep. cooking around this 350 degree mark or just a light simmer. Before you start putting things in, you can always take a couple breadcrumbs and just sprinkle them. If you start to hear That's that sizzle, idea. yeah, it's good. Then what you do is you test one. Okay. And this is exactly what I do this every time I fry here. Every time I fry here, I don't mess around. I do the exact same system. So they that are looks looking so good. good. Look yes. at how good that looks. See how simple and easy. Uh, and that was pretty quick. <clears throat> yeah. Very quick. So you know you're talking about like I said, three four minutes. They went in. You know we didn't put them all in at the same time, so we're gonna try to fish them out. Right. One at a time here, based on how nice and dark they are. A couple need a, another second. Now what I did because these are chicken and broccoli arancini is I made a little Alfredo sauce. This so looks so good over here. It's oh. so simple. Now. This is, uh, you know, a very rich sauce. So use sparingly. This is um, heavy cream, and I took a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Oh my God! I would some like, buttery roux, oh. and again, very rich. I would dip anything in that bread. Uh, how about a, a deep fried risotto? I'm gonna, or yes. a deep fried risotto. Because that's what's happening right now. So let's go ahead and go to plate with some of these. Now oh, that looks really good, Nick. See how see how uh, beautiful and simple yes. this is. Now let's get just some one or two more out. Okay, one or two more, and you got to be careful. See, I'm going onto a, a paper towel. Yes. Because what you want to do is, when you're deep frying, you want to absorb some you of that. Get all some that, of that in there. Yes, get get all of that out of there. Paper towel works fine, uh, and sprinkle a little piece, a bit of salt. That helps crisp oh, up that oh much my more. God. And let's just do this. This just might be one of the fav like my favorite things that I've made here with you. Well, thank you. Because I do love all the ingredients that you were talking about or that are actually come together. And seeing this now with the cheese on, with the cheese, you could like, oh, it's that God, simple. It's like melting it's that my simple. mouth. Look at this. So Look at that, how good is, that, looks. that is our arancinis, which is risotto. And again, let's say you have something else that you love. Let's right. say you're, you're, let's say you're a sausage and pepper nut. Right. Put sausage and pepper in here. Let's say you just want cheese. Put you know three cheese and herb in there. Like name something that you love, and it can absolutely Pop just get in. mixed in. Done. So good. Done. Oh my God. So I love that and I love how simple it is and I love that we safely accomplished this. Um, we and did I, you know, safely accomplish When this. I come to the road show, as you know, I like to travel light. So I carry one little brown bag because the Roadshow Kitchen, we had everything. We have the pots, the pans. We do. We have everything. You don't we need do. to bring anything we when do. you guys come here. All right? Unless you have something so specific. But we have power tools, you know, robo you food, food processors, right. blenders. But when I have to deep fry, I have to carry two bags. Okay. Because I got to bring the oil and the bread in. And to me, that's a lot. So I don't think. That's a lot. Once a year. This is a lot. I don't, I don't like to work okay. this hard all the time. So, hey, I once love that I'm here for the deep frying. You're here for it. Because You're this here for it. is definitely so, it looks so good. Thank you. And you made it look easy too. So now I feel like I'm going to try this deep frying at home. You should. And and again, you know, it's it's proceed with caution because something like this is very difficult to do another way. Right. You know, if you're going to find a um a donut that you love, yeah. you can probably find a donut you can bake. Yeah. French fries. We do in the oven at home right. all the time. But there are certain things like uh, if you want fried clams. Right. You can't you bake can't just, fried clams. Yeah, no, you have to deep fat fry. So that's the key. The key is what we're doing here. It's very low simmer. You didn't put it in. It's not like one of those like horror story uh, Thanksgiving turkeys no. that you see. Where, no, no, it came safe. out beautiful. We're gonna came dive in with the four. Yes, Nick, always awesome having you here. Always on awesome being here. We're gonna head back to the guys now, and I'm gonna get a first bite.